welcome to the Maletta How To Show. Um, in today's series, I would like to actually uh, install a belt, and this channel is mainly dedicated to the sprinters. If you thank you guys so much for watching me, and you know, please enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. Uh, you know, subscribe to my channel. You're gonna learn a lot about it because this channel is specifically designed, you know, to be something on YouTube that nobody else has. Uh, and that's to give you guys exact help that you're looking for uh, when it comes to working on a sprinter for the proper information uh, when it comes to your sprinter because most other places they're not going to tell you the same thing I'm going to tell you, you know. And there is something else that comes like naturally to me but with time as well because uh, at one point I didn't know nothing about sprinters. I knew about gasoline cars, you know, especially German makes like, you know, like uh, Audi's, Mercedes and uh, BMWs. That's what I mainly kind of worked on uh, when I was actually growing up. Um, so basically what I have here is uh, my sprinter and I have a belt here. Uh, this belt, in case anybody's wondering, I'm actually gonna, you know, show you guys up close in case you guys are gonna need a part number because most of the places you're gonna go to, they're gonna ask you for the part number. Uh, this is directly from, from Mercedes. And I also have another belt by uh, Duralast. Um, yeah, here we go. This is the tensioner. This is a brand new tensioner that I have, uh, you know, bought also from Mercedes. It's got still original packaging and stuff. The reason I'm showing you guys this is so you guys have a rough idea. I believe it kind of sits like this, okay? Oh, but yeah, like that. And this is a T60 uh, Torx type of uh, ratchet. I actually uh, picked this up at um, a part store. I don't know, maybe like 10 bucks, uh, like for like a nice set. What I'm gonna do is basically, I'm gonna insert this into uh, basically here. This fits very snug snugly when I'm gonna be underneath. And uh, the reason I'm showing you this, uh, you know, for somebody that maybe never seen, you know, what it looks like, because uh, there's not a lot of room when you're gonna go like uh, and look underneath your hood, you're gonna be like wondering where to put it in, you know, what to do, and you know, it becomes kind of difficult. But I got a trick for you guys. I always find um, nice easy tricks. So, so basically, once you do insert this, okay, this is a regular, uh, like, a, like a regular jack from Mercedes uh, type of handle. I guess you could use any piece of tubing. Uh, what I end up doing is sometimes I just basically, this is a little bit uh, too small, but I just insert usually this end. Sometimes I use a shorter one, like, like this little tube here. This is why I have like, you know, like both. And I use this to do my twisting. You know, when I'm underneath, I have this little piece of pipe in there. It gives me like some leverage. And I twist it and basically, you know, loosen up my belt. This is actually how I do it. Very simple. I actually uh, stuck a screwdriver in here. I don't, I don't know why it's like it's so difficult to uh, get this thing focused in here. But you could see kind of like what happened there, you know, like with me putting in a screwdriver. Uh, this is not always visible because, you know, how often do you really, you know, check your bolt and stuff. Um, I actually noticed this uh, because my van was making a funny noise. Uh, why I'm showing you guys here, I've looked down, you see like where the, um, let me see here if I could get this in view. Yeah, you see that portion of the belt right here where I'm kind of like pointing to? Uh, this is the portion where I looked, where you could see like the grooves and stuff in the belt. And um, by me looking there, I was able to notice some light showing through the belt. And this is why I was able to catch this, uh, you know, that little rip. So I kind of thought the belt might be good. Usually a belt could last you like about 150,000 miles. And uh, it could do like a pretty good job. But this one, whenever I get 150,000 miles out of the belt, I tend to just go ahead and uh, replace it, just get another belt. Uh, of course, a zero zero one nine nine three eight six nine six six four, and then we have this Duralas belt. I'm not sure if this is Duralas gold. Probably, if you're gonna be getting any kind of belt, you know, get the best one. Um, you know, pay a little extra, but the belts are very important um, on your vehicle. So we got a um, eight nine zero K six. I think I can like on the Mercedes. This portion of the belt. It's, uh, it's, it's basically, it feels like it's a little bit more like a rougher type of surface. It's got a nice little design here. And uh, the actual grooves here, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six basically of these grooves. And they have
have five lines in here. The reason I'm looking at that is because a six cylinder and four cylinder and five cylinder, they're all different. Um, this is a five, I believe a four cylinder has like about four grooves as well. Uh, let me kind of look at what the grooves look like over here. They look okay, like this Duralist belt looks okay. Um, I keep that belt as a, as a parts belt. Oh cool, I have a record button, looks like in the front as well. Um, I'm using my Sony uh, digital camera. Uh, what I wanted to kind of show you is this little things. Um, this is a pin, you know, that's used uh, for locking uh, your tensioner here. This is like the original one, and this is like a little tiny Allen wrench. Sometimes I just go ahead and use this little tiny wrench uh, because it's got this little handle on it. Um, today I'm gonna try to use like one of these. Um, so the reason I try to do that is I try to actually um, once I actually, you know, get the tensioner kind of loose, I stick one of these pins in there to kind of help. off look over here you could see another little rip was starting to happen and look how easy the stuff just rips look once uh once it gets going that's it there's uh there's no stop in it just straight i like when uh, they're kind of like stay looking at this so i take like the most like rounded portion of it and i try to use that to my advantage by sticking it in the bottom correctly.
So once again, you want to make sure all the grooves line up. It's time to start it. has been happening so you know I hope it's gonna remain that way but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it. it's gonna help me out you know by um, you know making me make more videos like this and hopefully get better at it because I am trying to improve as I go along I already got myself a little bit more of a professional camera even though you know it's it's, it's just basically just my um, and right now like I noticed it's already 950 viewers for 48 hours so thank you guys for that, for watching me, and um, make sure, comment on my videos if you got some kind of problem and uh, you need answers to. I always check my YouTube on my phone, on my computer, and uh, I try to answer you guys, kind of like your own personal technical support. I'm here for you guys. It's free. You know, use it. So, if I, you know, thank you guys so much. Uh, please subscribe and have fun. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.